Happy Friday. Flexible dieting is not for endomorphs. I'm sorry. I've been giving it a try for the last several months. I've lost some weight, but you know, the, the fat loss doesn't come quick enough for you to, for it to be sustainable. I'm not gonna beat around the bush about it. You know, um, I was okay when I was in a surplus and I was gaining weight because I was trying to get my muscle back up because I was having this big problem with riding my freeboard below 90 degrees because my legs were just, um, they're just getting gassed out because they just weren't strong. They, you know, I had allowed um, a lot of the gains I had made back in the day through uh, playing football. I had allowed a lot of that strength to go away through uh, becoming a better, you know, jujitsu player and relying more on um, my um, leverage and skills to capitalize on opponents when I used to, you know, compete back in the day and different things like that and, and roll around with people before I injured my back. Um, did I have the athletic ability to ride a free board? Yes, but I mean, you know, when trying to maximize those skills and trying to control the board at a faster speed, I just, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to ride in that athletic stance and I didn't feel comfortable standing in an erect uh, posture when I ride. I, I feel more comfortable riding in an athletic um, stance, which is, you know, 90, you know, right above 90, a 90 degree leg bend or um, at or below. Um, so, you know, that's just the way, that's the style that I want. And uh, I just didn't have the leg strength. So I had to start lifting. You know, now that that strength is starting to come, you know, yes, I do have to have some carbohydrates, um, which is a disaster when trying to uh, lean out and maintain a lean physique as an, as an endomorph. Because of the necessity of those carbohydrates, I'm, you know, as I do this cut, and, and speak with you and share my, you know, different ideas and different, you know, roadblocks with you, I am finding that endomorphs have to really stick to these, you know, first of all, number one is, you know, you are, you are isolating the carbohydrates that you have per day. So like in my mind right now, okay, I, I know that it may be liquid form, but hey, the bananas that I have are carbohydrates. So as much as I love bananas, I can't just suck down bananas all day long, even though they are uh, a raw food because it's still jumping up my carbohydrate numbers. I, I'm looking at probably only being able to have, you know, maybe on a high day 200, but on an average day, you know, 120 grams. I can't, you know, use those up with bananas, you know, because it's just not heavy enough and it's not going to satiate me enough. So instead of, you know, I've been having white potatoes lately, but I've been reading, you know, you want, you know, endomorphs want to stay away from those because they raise your insulin levels a lot quicker because they have um, more sugar in them. Uh, uh, so I'm being told that the sweet potato actually is the better one. So I'm gonna start messing around with the sweet potatoes. You know, I already been trying to use corn tortillas because I can, I enjoy tortillas. Um, they're better for you, they are processed. So I was thinking about maybe doing the ones where you make your own, different things like that. But I suggest that you do an awful lot of reading up on these carbohydrates because it really is, it, it really is a pain in the butt, you know. I can, you know, I've leaned out quite a bit, but it's like I've said before, it's been in these radical things where, you know, I'm eating, you know, a great deal of apples, you know, so I can get enough energy. To, you know, things were different back then though, because I, you know, I was willing to beat up on my back a lot more with the, with the uh, run and the strides and different things like that. I'm not willing to do that stuff anymore. I just want to walk and I want to mainly be a weightlifter and develop that lower body strength. So because I lift weights, I, you know, and I'm not a meat eater, you know, I'm, you know, I have to get, I have to eat very strange and it, it really is confusing a lot of the time. So that's why, you know, if you have some suggestions or comments or anything like that, I'm just sharing, you know, 
my ideas here, but I will tell you this, you have to compartmentalize the carbohydrates. You really have to sit down and say, okay, the major, the, the as an endomorph, the, the bulk of my diet is going to be, you know, making my own dressings, uh, herbs, spices, you know, natural seasonings, a lot of vegetables, a lot of stir fry vegetables, and compartmentalizing my carbs into, you know, oatmeal, sweet potatoes, corn tortillas, things like that. No baked goods, no sugar, no refined sugars, no candies, none of that stuff. If you get down to your, you know, goal leanness, then maybe you can introduce some of those things at a very, very, very controlled amount. You know, I would suggest not daily. I would say, you know, very specialty because I've done this and, you know, it, when I was like radical, the fat will pour off. But that's the thing, man. That's no quality of life. It's just no quality of life. Happy Friday.